So in our previous episode, we were talking about the new ultimatum, what you see is what you get widget, which is really pretty cool because if you click here, that goes right into it. I can put a whole list of information in here. Of course, I can close out from here. All right, so let's do this. Let's just close this out, which collapses it. And let's talk about include page. Now, here's what I want to do. Let's say as an example, I just want to make a slight change to my layout. So I'm going to go up here to insert row and we're going to talk about more about this whole field setting in a subsequent video when we create templates and layouts from scratch. Right now we're using the basic layout that we're modifying. So let's say as an example that I want to do a 75-25% split. So I'm going to have the ultimate in page here and maybe over here I'll put my social media widgets. So I'm going to come down here and insert. Now again, depending on where you want to put this, so just because we can, we're going to take the drag this to the top and we're going to trash this. But before we do, I just want to share with you how flexible this, this theme is, this theme framework. I'm going to take the social media and put this over to the right. I'm going to come down here and delete that. See, that's what makes this theme framework so powerful because I can just visually lay out exactly where I want to put things. It's, I, it's one of, again, it's my go-to absolute favorite theme. Now let's talk about ultimatum include page and what that does. So if I come up here, it's going to physically tie that page permanently to this particular layout based on these properties. So we're going to select the page. So let's say as an example that I want to put my short code page there. And I don't want the title to show. And if I have a featured image, I want to see my featured image after the title. Okay, now we haven't talked about featured image, so let's, let's do this. I'm going to save this change. Okay, I'm going to save the layout. And I'm going to view the page. Okay, now this is coming from the short codes that we set up originally and to the right is my social media because these are two columns. Okay, does that make sense? These are my two columns so that for this is to the right so if I go back into there you'll see my social media was over to the right actually that was really strange if that screwed up that way. Let's do this. Let's go back into in fact let's go view site Let's go edit layout, and there you go. It wasn't saved into the queue, that's why it came up differently. So the include page is over on the left, and the social media icon is over to the right. Now, something we haven't talked about before, which is sort of important, it's part of WordPress. It's really not part of the ultimatum theme, although ultimatum theme, of course, is based on WordPress. So the page that we're bringing in right now is my short code. So let's go to that page for a second. I'm going to scroll down to the bottom and I'm going to edit my short codes. Now there is an option in there for featured image. Now according to this we don't have a featured image. So just because we can, I'm going to click right here and I'm just going to go and just upload a different photo. I have some hairstyle photos that I like to use and I will just pick the medium size version of hairstyles. I'll just pick this one right here just so it's visual and set that as my image and update that page. So what that's going to do for me, if I go back to my uh, view, let's go back to uh, view site. Okay, now this is getting cut off because it's, it's bigger than the area permits, but I just want to share with you where that's coming from. If I go to edit layout for a second and go to include page, I have page title off and I have featured image after the title. Now, of course, if I take featured image and turn it off, even though, very important step, even though there is a featured image tied to that page, and this could be a product page, an icon page, a featured image will basically show up as the icon representation of that page or link before you click it. That's what the featured image does. Kind of experiment with that. It's really kind of a cool thing. If I save the changes now, now keep in mind that the featured image is part of the page, but according to these options, these properties, I chose to turn the featured image off. So now if I save the layout and I go back to my page, you will see that the featured image is now gone. Okay, so let's go back in here again. 
So what include page does in ultimatum, you'll also notice uh, in ultimatum, there's a couple of other choices in here on the menu we talked about before, but the include page will basically bring in a specific page that you set up. So again, you're going to select the page from this list and notice that it's pages, not posts. So if you're wondering why you created something and it's not part of that list, make sure that it is a page, not a post. Now in reference to, I just want to share something with you. Part of the reason that that got cut off because it wasn't big enough to contain that area is I only had my image height set to 100. So here's what we can do. I'm going to hold down the control key and I'm going to go under, under, uh, not under appearances. I'm going to hold down the control key and go to media library. And I'm going to open this up in a new tab. So this way I can keep that. And again, you can right click control click. So I want to select this image and see how high it is. Okay, it's 888 pixels high. Well, that's rather large. So let's say I'm going to edit this image and let's ch chomp this down to size. Let's keep this at a, uh, let's make this, uh, let's scale this. Let's keep the aspect ratio uh, now let's not do it that way. Let's just make this uh, 350 and that'll be proportionate. In fact, let's make the height of this, let's make the height of this 300 and we're just gonna scale this down. So again, the height of this is now 300. So now if I save those changes and close out of this window, now keep in mind we opened up a separate window. So all we need to do is go back here. And again, I did that by control click, click or right click on any menu choice to bring up a separate tab window. This way you can easily go back to it. It's a production technique. So again, if I click that, you'll see that we made this 300 pixels high. So I'm gonna change this to 300 pixels. By default, it is pixels. And I want to feature the image uh, before or after the title and save the changes and come up here and save the layout and view the site. Okay, so now you'll see it's sitting there because that's part of the featured image. So widgets are a lot of fun. Again, to review here, let's go back into edit layout. Widgets is where you store information. And once you bring up a widget dialog box, it's really, really that simple. It's really straightforward. But the nice thing about the ultimatum theme framework, as we're gonna learn in subsequent videos, is I can take and just plot and put things wherever I want. Now, we've covered the basics of ultimatum and how it thinks. We haven't gone into the plugin modules, et cetera, et cetera. We're gonna do more on that after we first learn in our next video how to create a template and layout totally from scratch. Understand the difference between a partial layout, et cetera, et cetera. So stay tuned.